Welcome to the ACC 2012 in Chicago. I am Dr. Kenneth Ellenbogen from the VCU School of Medicine in Richmond, Virginia. It is my pleasure to be interviewing Dr. Michelle Bernoli. Dr. Bernoli is Chief of Cardiology at the Hospital of Tugulio in Lavagna from Genoa, Italy. And it's my pleasure to be with uh, Dr. Bernoli, who will be presenting a late-breaking clinical trial. Dr. Bernoli, please tell us a little bit about the clinical problem this late-breaking clinical trial addresses. Uh, the efficacy of pacing therapy in patients with reflex syncope has been questioned recently after two randomized double-blind clinical trials failed to show a benefit of pacemaker compared to placebo. Uh, we hypothesized that the reason of this failure was that the patients were unselected. So we thought that if we were able to select the patient according to the mechanism of syncope, and uh, precisely to select those patients who have uh, a pause, an asystole, a time of syncope, pacemaker would be helpful because it is obvious that uh, if pacing may be efficacious when asystole is the mechanism of syncope, by sure it cannot be effective when a, a hypotension, a, 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 a non-asystolic arrhythmia is present. So we decide to perform the issue T trial uh, which consists in a screening phase during which we implanted an uh, implantable loop recorder in order to detect a, a document with HEG, a spontaneous uh, event, and uh, when the mechanism was uh, a pause, precisely a pause, syncope with a pause of three seconds or non-syncopal pause more than six seconds, we decide uh, the, the patient were eligible to a randomized trial. So very clear study design to try to answer definitively the question about the role of cardiac pacing in patients with neurocardiogenic syncope or reflex syncope with a prominent bradycardia component. Tell us a little bit about the number of patients you screened and the number of patients who were enrolled in the trial. And uh, we understand what the study design is. Tell us a little bit about the patient population. Exactly. First of all, I have to say that uh, the clinical features of the patient were very well defined because these were a selected uh, population on, uh, based on the fact that uh, not all the patients with reflex syncope could be recruited, but we required that the patients were older than 40 years, that had a recurrent unpredictable syncope. Unpredictable means uh, no warnings. So high risk of trauma, high frequency of episodes. Then we imp in this patient that we estimated represent 9% of all reflex syncope patients referred to a specialist clinic, uh, received an implantable recorder, and we waited until a, 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 a syncopal uh, event recurred could be documented. Uh, 511 patients received a loop recorder, and after an um, average uh, follow-up of 12 months, 89 of these had, uh, were eligible for the randomized trial. This means they had uh, an asystolic event. 79 of these uh, were finally randomized, pacemaker on versus pacemaker off. So tell me, what were the results of the clinical trial? The result was that uh, pacemaker was uh, more effective than placebo in reducing the recurrence rate of syncope. And in particular, we had, uh, after two years, 25% recurrence rate in the pacemaker arm versus 57% recurrence rate in the placebo arm, which means a 32% absolute reduction of uh, recurrence syncope and 57% relative risk. In other words, uh, a number needed to treat uh, of three. Very powerful results. If you could, there are many practicing clinical cardiologists who see patients with recurrent syncope. Will you give us the take-home message from this clinical trial, how they should manage those patients based on the results of this important trial. I think that uh, this uh, study definitely show that the pacemaker can be effective in patient reflex syncope. 
The fact that pacemaker is effective does not mean that all patients with reflex syndrome need a pacemaker. Only a minority need a pacemaker, and these are, are to be selected according to the clinical feature. Uh, and uh, as I, I already mentioned, the issue three population is characterized by old age, recurrent syncope, unpredictability, long pauses. Thank you very much, Dr. Bernoulli. That was an excellent summary of this important late-breaking clinical trial, which has implications for some of our patients with recurrent reflex syncope. Thank you.